Look at the view from our venue. I think she looks cute. She's iconic. Back to our channel. It is February 8th. Also, look, one of the pictures from our photo shoot. Um, but we are on our way to the venue. We're going to our wedding venue because we're having our final, final ever, last ever of ever meeting before the wedding. And we have our binder with us for all of our planning needs and we have our seating chart with us. I'm trying to get rid of the shadow. We have 120 people coming. We thought we would have 80. So there's that. But we're on our way according to John's map. We have an hour left until we get there. And we'll show you a little bit of the venue when we get there too. But yeah, this is our last meeting. We have to do our seating chart. We have to finalize everything. We have to pick everything. And then after this, we just have our rehearsal the day before the wedding, and then that's that. How are you feeling? Good, good. Guys, look at the view from our venue. Last meeting. Here's our celebratory secret thing. This is the appetizer. How is it? Good. Guys, here is the pasta, and you already know. We got the extra sauces on the side, but we already poured them. That looks so good. We got the bread and the butter. John's pasta. It's so hot, it's not focusing. And the pizza. Fire. We're gonna enjoy. Guys, we're home. Our appointment went superb. We ended up eating CPK, which you guys saw. We ended up paying for the rest of our appointment. Or <clears throat> The rest of our wedding, we did our seating chart, everything like we made where the tables will be, the floor plan in case if it rains and it has to be indoors in case if it doesn't, whatever. But now I'm home and we, well, we've been home, but now I'm doing our wedding favors and this is what they're looking like. So we decided to do little scratchers. So you have a scratcher, then we got this custom sticker from Etsy. It's like a hundred of them. I ordered 20 more and then I got these little hearts that are kind of pointy at the bottom so that people can use it to scratch instead of pennies. So this is what we're working with. Here's the first one that's done. I think she looks cute. And I'm literally just, I got these little envelopes on Amazon. I literally just put the lottery ticket in it, put the heart in the back and then just sealed it with a sticker. So I'll show you when everything's done. And John's DIYing some flowers right now. Let me know what you think about these. Guys, we're two weeks almost basically out from the wedding and look, I, yesterday, I made our, well, my flower bouquet. Look at that, isn't she cute? We literally just bought everything on Amazon. Like we brought this set of like pink roses. Then we bought some white ones. Then John painted the white ones with like some glitter pink paint. Then I got baby's breath. Then I just got, this guy is so fat. He always wants to eat you guys when I pull you out. That's why he's crying. But anyway, um, I got baby's breath and then I got like double sided tape and this little... Can you relax? And this little uh, ribbon. And I made this one. And then, then I made little mini ones for the bridesmaids. And in here I literally have everything for the wedding. We have these little bridesmaid bouquets, which is including this one, then mine. Then this is the button ears for the guys, a similar concept of those roses, all of the gift favors. We have two pictures for our guest book table with the, um, yeah, guest book. We have, oh my God, I, didn't, I don't think I showed you guys this. Look at our bar sign. She's iconic. Look at her, let me put her down so you can fully see her isn't she gorgeous okay we have that and then we have a giant sign that says welcome to our wedding and then look at our guest book i haven't showed you guys this but like she is gorgeous and there's way more pictures in there but that's in there too then i got these acrylic stand things um for any signs we print out and right now i'm gonna show you guys 
how I'm gonna make the seating chart. I'm on Canva now making the seating chart and look, I just made a custom, I saw this on TikTok by the way, a hack, so you don't have to pay a bunch of money on Etsy. Getting a custom acrylic sign, you just go on Canva, you make a 24 by 36 poster, and then you go print it at Staples and put it in a picture frame. So I literally just made a custom like 24 by 36. I picked this background for now. It's like a white and pink background. And then I put find your seat up here because even though I'm not going to be buying it from Etsy or anywhere super complicated, I am going to take inspiration from things like Etsy. Many, many, many hours later, ignore John, he's back there. That noise you're hearing is because he's over there on my couch playing the game, poking his nose with the dogs laying right there on the couch too. But anyways, as I was saying, it's been many hours, <clears throat> but I'm done with our seating chart. Now I'm gonna show you. I did this all on Canva. It was all free to do on Canva. Now I just need to pay to get it printed at Staples, which is gonna be $39. Then I need to buy a photo frame, which I don't know how much it'll cost, but this is a pretty cheap DIY method compared to a lot I was saying on TikTok and online. So look, here's our seating chart. Let me make this big so you can see. Look at that. She is gorgeous. She's done. It has like this, I don't know if the camera catches it. It's like a pinkish um, cloudy background. And then I put these little toast things on the side, but then over here, I went to staples i just put like their print marketing section up here and then i uploaded it and here she is i put download proof pdf proof so you can see how it'll turn out and then that one looks like this so this is the proof of the pdf she looks good she looks cute so now i'm just gonna buy her and because it's before 12 right now it's only 10 o'clock they're gonna have same day pickup available, so I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna go buy a photo frame, they're gonna run some errands, and then I'll show you when I get it to see how it looks. So stay tuned for that. And let me know if you guys want a more in-depth view of how I did this, because it was honestly not that bad. I was just being super nitpicky and making sure like everything was perfectly spaced, aligned, order centered. But yeah, I'm done now. So let's get this printed. Look at this guy. We are two days out from this wedding, and look at what I'm doing on Canva. Look at what I'm fixing on Canva because people decided they weren't coming last minute and we need to adjust this. I'm reprinting all of this now. So that's fun. And because we already paid for the sign to be printed and now we have to adjust things, I need to get creative with this because I'm not about to pay another $40 to get this whole poster printed. So I'm going to basically copy everybody's name over to like a blank sheet, cut out the names and then put them onto our poster we already have. So I'll show you the before and then the after. And it's just gonna have to do, if it looks bad, looks bad. At this point, can't do anything about it. But this is what we're working on right now. Also look, I got my wedding. Well, I should probably show you like this. I got my nails done for the wedding. It's like a French tip. And then this one has like a little design on it. This is what they're looking like. What do we think? Do we like them? What do we think? Are they cute? But yeah, we're working on this. So I'll see you guys when I'm done with this. Guys, I forgot to show you this yesterday, but basically what I ended up doing is I printed the names in Canva the same size as the ones that I had on the poster. And then I just cut them out and then I taped them on here. So she looks a little, a little homemade and not too cute anymore because I like the original way, but I just was not about to pay 40 bucks to redo this because people canceled. So that's that, but that's basically how I did it. Let me know if you want me to show you and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. And in the next video, you'll see us go to our wedding rehearsal and maybe even clips of our wedding. So stay tuned.